Hi guys, Micro here. This is my 1 to 99 crafting guide. In this guide, I'll show you some fast ways, profitable methods, and methods to get up to 450k XP an hour. Also, I'll cover all of the useful items you need to know. First up on the useful items, we have the Scroll of Dexterity. The scroll requires 60 Dungeoneering and 60 Craft. It costs 20,000 Dungeoneering tokens. Once learned, you have a chance to save in material when making items that require three or more of the same material. This means anything like Dragonhide shields, Dragonhide bodies, they all work. The chances are as follows. Batwing has a 30% chance. Green D lever has a 25% chance. Blue D lever has a 20% chance. Red D lever has a 15% chance. Black D lever has a 10% chance. And Royal D lever has a 5% chance. This really helps at saving money. You save a ton when you're going for 99 if you're doing D lever. Next up, we have a portable crafter. Portables are great. You can even use the portable forge in certain methods in crafting as well when you're using a forge or like rings and things like that but the crafter is the main one. The crafter has a 10% increased crafting XP when used. It has a 10% chance to save the hides or clay that you use on it which then obviously saves you even more money alongside with the scroll when doing D lever. 5% chance of saving a gem when cutting. So if you really wanted to go for the cutting gem method which is really really expensive at least it will save a bit of money use the friends chat portables join that chat ask for a portable crafter they'll give you a location and a world just go there hot worlds and then you can just craft on it and get your 10 percent increased xp and 10 percent chance to save such a useful tool another item is the crafting potion sipping on a crafting potion will give you a plus three visible boost to crafting this means it can boost you up three levels so if you really really want to get to that next tier do that next thing you can use a crafting potion to get you there so if you really want to boost up so you can do the next in the line earlier just use this potion the last useful item i'm going to speak about is the artisan's outfit this outfit is obtainable from the treasure hunter it gives one percent bonus per piece and if you have all five pieces it gives a six percent bonus if you get any pieces from the treasure hunter you might as well wear it the percent bonus is just added experience so it's always helpful before we start, I want to speak about two alternative ways of leveling crafting. You can do weaving in the clan citadel. Training at the loom in your clan citadel is literally free XP every week and it's quite fast XP too. Capping at the citadel every week will stack your feet lee up to free also and when it's at level 3 it will give you more XP. Every feet lee level you get, the more XP you get per time you use the weaving. So at higher levels, around 70 plus, you can easily gain around 100 to 200k XP per week this way at your Citadel. Added onto that, you can claim a 35k to 55k bonus XP from the Quartermaster once you have capped halfway. To keep your Featly bonus once you're already at free, all you have to do is half cap every week. So if you just wanted that bonus XP more than anything, just do half of the cap, get your Featly bonus, get your free bonus XP, and you're good to go for the next week. So in your clan citadel, you want to find your loom spot. When you're in your loom spot, you literally just click the looms. Every time you'll take a bit of fabric off, you'll have to do this four times, then all the fabric will be gone. Once it's gone from one, you move on to the next. Once all of them are gone, it refreshes every single one, so it makes it nice and easy. The second alternate way is Harps in Priftiness. The trainer that the Harps in Priftiness is really, really AFK. You literally just click the harp, wait until it's 50% out of tune, tune it up, get a little bit of construction XP alongside your craft XP, and just AFK again. It's free to do, it's slow XP an hour, around 50 to 60k XP an hour. The harmonic dust that you get from playing the harps can be used to make crystal tools. So if you don't already have a crystal hatchet or a crystal pickaxe, doing this at 75 crafting is probably a really good thing. You'll get some free crafting XP, it'll give you a couple of levels, and then you'll get your crystal tools to use in other skills. Let's get into the leveling. From levels 1 to 27, you're going to want to do bowstrings in Lumbridge Castle. You're going to need to make 649 bowstrings for levels 1 to 27. This is 15 XP per spin and around 115 to 170k GP profit for the 649. Sadly you can't use a portable crafter here for spinning so you will have to go to the Lumbridge Castle. You won't be here for very long, you can do this in around 30 minutes. Once you're on top of Lumbridge Castle and at the bank, make sure your inventory is filled with flax, run down the stairs. 
click on the spinning wheel in this room spin all your flags once it's all done go back up the stairs rebank repeat until you've done all your 600 flags from levels 27 to 34 we're going to want to do emerald rings 191 emerald rings will be needed to be made from 27 to 34 it's 55 xp per make and gives around 70 to 75k profit from the 191 you will need to use a portable forge here instead of a portable crafter because you need the forge to make the rings this will maximize your xp per hour because you won't have to run to the forge and pack you can just stand next to the bank and use a portable forge so before you start doing your crafting make sure you've got a preset so what you want to do is have all of your bars and your emeralds in your inventory go on to this icon here open the preset setup menu make sure you save it when you save it it will save everything in your inventory and everything you're wearing and then when you press the button whether it's under the one or under the two when you press that button it will put it all in your inventory so if i just press one now it switches my whole inventory with gold bars and emeralds so if you right click a forge and click configure you'll be able to smith or smelt on it so i want to configure it to smelt that way i can just left click smelt it so when you're in a really populated world you can always left click on it, it makes it really easy then we just bank because we made a preset we press one we click on it we click craft we're good simple as that from levels 34 to 56 you're going to want to make ruby rings it will be about 2341 ruby rings 34 to 56 it's 70 xp per make and gives around 575k to 600k profit for all 2341 rings these rings will probably take around two hours to do maybe two and a half if you're a bit slacky so it won't take very long to get from 34 to 56 again that's using a portable forge so you can turn around and bank instantly you don't have to run to the forge an alternate way of getting 23 to 56 is doing silver tiaras 3386 silver tiaras will need to be made for 23 to 56 silver tiaras give 52.5 xp per make and is a 450 to 470k loss this method is more afk than jewelry because you can have 28 in your inventory opposed to 14. it leads to less banking and more afk time so if you don't want to bank all the time and you're okay with slightly less xp an hour than the ruby rings tiaras are good you'll need a portable forge here as well so the exact like same way you would do with the rings personally i do the rings over the tiaras because it's profit but if you just want to get it out of the way and you want to afk silver tiaras are fine levels 56 to 64 can do diamond necklaces you need to make 2478 diamond necklaces for 56 to 64 it's 90 xp per make and gives 500k to 520k profit from doing the 2478 again portable forge is needed here so you don't have to run to the forge and back diamond necklaces nice and easy xp from levels 64 to 72 you're going to want to do green d hide shield this is where the xp per hour gets really good this is around 300k xp per hour and you could even do this to 99 if you want to save a bit of money because green dehydes you don't lose as much as the black but they proc more from the scroll and they also can proc with the portable crafter and it just leads to a bit of a cheaper way to 99 but slower it depends what you want to do either way you want to make 1705 green dehyde shields for 64 to 72 it's around 272.8 xp with a portable crafter per uh, mate from these levels it's a 7 to 7.5 mil loss make sure you have your scroll of dexterity for the prox and the portable crafter for the prox and the xp buff to make green dehyde shields just click on your portable crafter the green dehyde shields there you just level work them all you're going to need thread in your inventory typically one thread every five makes i found from level 72 to 78 you can upgrade by doing blue dehyde shield you're going to want to do 2370 blue dehyde shields for these levels between 72 and 78 this is around 308 xp per make with a portable crafter and a 10.5 to 11 mil loss between 72 and 78 again you can minimize the loss by using your scroll dexterity and your portable crafter typically the procs combined 
take around 20% off your loss so you'll probably lose around 8 mil rather than 10 to 11 mil which is good this is around 340k xp an hour between level 78 and 85 you can upgrade again you can do red dehyde shields you need to do 4748 red dehyde shields for 78 to 85 this is around 343.2 xp per make with a portable crafter it's around 30 to 32 mil loss between the levels 78 and 85 this is where the loss starts getting quite heavy you can reduce it as much as you can with scroll of dexterity and a portable craft so instead of losing 30 to 32 mil you should be able to cut that down to about 25 to 28 mil this is around 375k xp an hour between levels 85 and 99 we're going to do black dehyde shields typically guides tell you to upgrade to royal dehyde bodies because they're faster xp blah 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 but dehyde shields are actually faster xp there's no royal dehyde shields so we will continue doing our black dehyde shields all the way to 99. Black dehyde shields are 400k plus xp an hour. If you're really efficient you can get around 450k xp an hour. Royal dehyde bodies are a maximum of around 400k. Plus black dehyde shields are cheaper to make than royal dehyde bodies. Now that's out of the way you will need to do 25,835 black dehyde shields for levels 85 to 99. This is 378.4 XP per make of a portable crafter. It's around 200 to 230 mil loss. But again, this can be cut down with scroll of dexterity and portable crafter procs. We can cut that down to about 160 to 170 mil. The cuts from these two things is really, really prominent with these types of margins when there's a lot of money being lost. You do save quite a considerable amount 40 to 60 mil is a lot saved another way people use to train crafting is battle staffs i'd advise waiting for level 66 for air battle staffs as they're around 300 xp an hour it's around 137.5 xp per make and is a loss of around 1k to 1.5k per make which means it's about 8 gp to 10 gp and xp Making these is a fairly cheap way to get craft levels, but the GE limit on battle staffs is only 100. So if you're going to do this method, try and stock up on some battle staffs, like leaving offers in for a couple of days, making it buy over time, and then crafting them all at once. That's probably the best way you can do it, but this way is quite slow because of the buyer limit, whereas the other ways, the buyer limits of hides, is much easier. The last method in crafting I'm going to speak about in this video is urns. At levels 59, you can do the decorated mining urn which is the first urn that gives you some decent amount of xp so from level 59 to 76 you're going to want to make these mining urns you need to make 10,417 mining urns that includes molding them and then heating them for levels 59 to 76 you can use a portable crafter to both mold and heat the urns so you don't have to run back and forth that increases your xp hour by quite a lot but typically you can only mold and heat around 750 per hour which means you can mold about 1.5k or heat about 1.5k urns in an hour this is 104.5 xp per full mate and is around 3 mil to 3.5 mil gain in cash and about 300 gp profit per urn you make you can use a portable crafter like i said for the 10 percent buff and it's around 60 to 80k xp an hour but very good money from level 76 onwards this is where urns get good you can make decorated fishing urns which are around 2k gp profit each which is insane you need to make 6488 of these urns which includes molding and heating again for level 76 to 81 this is around 132 xp per full make with a portable crafter and you'll make around 13 to 14 mil from these five levels the urns are slow again 60 to 80k but amazing money it'll be around 1.5 mil an hour which is pretty damn good for craft finally from levels 81 to 99 you're going to want to do decorated cooking urns you'll need to make 75,816 of these urns from 81 to 99 this means it will take a very long time to get from 81 to 99 it will take you around 110 hours of constantly making cooking urns to get from these levels okay it takes 110 hours but you're also going to make nearly 200 mil in this time so you're making some good money per hour it's around 1.5 to 1.8 mil an hour which is just great 
It's 143 XP per full make and 2.2k GP profit each. Use a portable crafter again for the 10% XP buff and the 10% chance to save your soft clay. These are around 65 to 85k XP an hour depending on how efficient you are and the money is just great. Personally I've done the urns as a mixture between normal crafting and urns. I do urns to make a bit of extra money and then I'd use the money on the hide shields. I found it to have a good balance if I'd done some urns, got some slow XP and then spent the money on fast XP. It seemed to work really well. Thanks for watching guys, if you're new please subscribe, give it a like if you enjoyed. Please comment down below what you want to see in the future, whether it be a new series, whether it will be a different 99 guide that you want to see a guide in, any boss guides, just let me know what you want to see and I'll do my best to make it. I'm really enjoying all of this and I hope I can continue to provide good guides for you guys and give you insight on all of these different things. Thanks, bye.